I just made a video talking about the five things I hate about this Polestar 4 and to balance out my opinion, my videos and the reviews here on the channel, I thought I'd make a video talking about the five things I love about the Polestar 4 because there are quite a few things about this car that are absolutely awesome. Yeah, so my name is Hada Hosas and I'm a race car driver and uh, we are here with Continental and we are testing out, um, you know, tires on different surfaces. So right now we're going out to test um, braking points on wet with, um, with the new tires and also with used tires. 1.6 millimeters where it's allowed, I think, in Oray as well. So we're going to accelerate up to 85 kilometers an hour. Okay. Yeah, she's doing <laughs> Oh, holy crap, that's some grip. I think we had too much speed, let's see. Okay, because I did 100, sorry. What? I did 100. Oh, yeah, then it's, uh, that's the reason why you're 30 meters. I think too fast. They said that? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> I, can't, I can't speak uh, German. You can't say, especially in English Deutsch. Ich bin, Keine Deutsch. Ich, ich bin Lebrisch. We want to go the 110 again? Or no, we want to go 85 again, okay? Ah, okay, that is. That's the difference. You can that's the that. difference. That's a yeah. big. That's a big difference. You see, we had 30, I think it was. 30 oh. meters, and now we have almost 36 meters. Polster have put a lot of research and development, time and design into the quality of the interior of this Polestar 4. And even though this is the base trim, the entry level model, it still has soft touch plastics up top of the doors. You have this fabric insert here. You have this, you know, detailed trim here with ambient lighting. You have this, this beautiful fabric material on the armrest, this stitching, just layers of materials. And even though this door is almost completely black, it still has layers that makes it warm and interesting. And even down low here on the cabin, these are soft touch materials. And then we step into the cabin because they could have made this boring and uninspiring. And even though it's black, which by far is one of my least favorite colors, it's still warm and cozy. Just look at this ambient lighting strip. Look at this fabric on top of the dashboard with stitching there. Again, you have this, you know, weaved material here, soft touch plastics. It's just a nice place to be with high quality materials. The center console is, is covered with this Microtech uh, fabric, the same you have on the seat. So it's just soft. It has a little bit of padding and just feels of high quality. I love the interior of this car and just the attention to details just about anywhere. The rear seats in the Polestar 4 are actually massive. Look at this amount of knee room I have sitting behind myself. So I'm 5'10", 5 5'11", 5 around 178 to 180 centimeters and I have massive room. I can even cross my legs in the rear seat and sit comfortable. And that isn't only impressive in any electric car, but considering that this car is only 4.84 meters long, so it's a lot shorter than, for example, the Mercedes EQE or Tesla Model S or even the Audi Q8 e-tron. There is still more legroom in the rear of this car than those. And that is, yeah, that is impressive and absolutely something to love. This right here is a dying breed, a dying feature, a dying function in modern cars. The good old volume knob. It may not be the best to use, it may not be the most tactile or the highest quality, but the fact that this car actually has one and here in the center console where it is placed ergonomically perfect, it's, it's just awesome. You can play, you can pause. The only thing it's missing is like skip forwards and backwards. I wish it had that, but I'm not gonna complain because I'm just gonna applaud Polestar because they put a volume knob here where other cars are moving to digital buttons, on-screen buttons. This is something I absolutely love. Once underway, the cabin of this Polestar 4, especially compared to the Polestar 2, is surprisingly quiet and comfortable. I recently took this car on a long trip from Oslo to Gothenburg and back again, 
doing a constant 120 kilometers an hour or 75 miles an hour on the motorway and there was surprisingly little tire noise and also wind noise a whisper quiet cabin and yesterday i picked up an audi q6 e-tron which i drove back to back with this car like i drove that car hopped into this just to compare them directly and this is a lot quieter quieter than that audi q6 e-tron which surprised me but it is a thing i absolutely love about this car the Polestar 4 boasts this 15.4 inch infotainment system screen in landscape layout and I think the screen is a little bit too big to be perfect because when I'm sitting here driving and especially when I have my hands placed here on the steering wheel both my hands and the steering wheel is obscuring you know this bottom left part of the screen but that's you know a little bit of a nitpick and also there have been some issues with me with this specific car where you know it doesn't always respond to my inputs and sometimes it's slow but i have reported this to polestar and i'm pretty sure that this will be fixed in a future update where they will make it more responsive but if those issues were fixed this would actually be the perfect infotainment system is already my favorite even with you know those, those small issues because the layout is is just perfect i really like the functionality and how this works so first off you have you know this split screen mode here where you have the google maps here on the left side and you know google maps with this navigation system in this car is the best in the business i mean it has the best voice commands it just works really really well and and i absolutely love it and then on the right side here you have these four tiles but you can you know if you want you can make the maps bigger you can make the smaller and only having two map uh, two tiles and then you can you know just make all of the tiles go away completely or you can press the home button here and then you can switch between full screen mode and the default mode and i really like the default mode because having these tiles here which which you can customize so i have my media here and then i have my trip computer and look at this guys it's so easy go into your trip computer there you have the data you have the manual trip you have the auto trip and then you can toggle between auto and last charge and then you just press the home button you go back and then you have your manual trip there but you can also toggle between the bottom and the top screen it's it's awesome here I have CarPlay and then I have my media here as I said and if you want to do other media you could just press it there. It's, it's so good. So here you have the choices and then if you just want to do this you can just go into Spotify and it still keeps the map there. But there's also a driver display so you can also have the map showing there if you want. But I love the fact that you, you don't lose the map. It's still there when you're driving because sometimes you just you know want to change songs. So you can either do that or you could just you know press that home button and then maybe you know the 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 genius of this infotainment system i mean it has all of the button button buttons here which are big and we don't even have to get into that because it's so irrelevant because those are like functions that you you rarely use but they're easy i mean you can just go into the menu here and show you how that works you can also do heat seating and or seat heating and then you can do your temperature there right you have your um modes here and then you also have your apps i mean it's all very easy to use all very easy to use but this is what i like and that is the favorite shortcuts speed limit warning off lane keep assist off every time you get into the car you can also if you want to do you can do the one pedal driving you can have the glove box opening there you can have the trunk but these are customizable Let's see if we go in here. How does this work? Ah, there we go. we hold it. And then you can customize what shortcuts. You can choose between different shortcuts here, I think. It's awesome. It is so good and easy to use. I absolutely love this infotainment system. If you hold, there you go. If you hold that, you can switch between and there are a lot of there are a lot of shortcuts that you can choose from and there's one that well, is one that I hope they will implement in the future, that, which they actually told me, which isn't where I want it to be, and that is turning off the driver alert. So put the car into drive. There we go. And then you can turn that off. So that's the only thing you have to turn off in a menu, but they said they're constantly going to update, you know, um, the shortcuts here. But yeah, I love this infotainment system. It, it is absolutely awesome.
So there we go guys, those are the five things I love about the new Polestar 4. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please drop me a thumbs up down below. And for more car content, as always, please subscribe. See you guys later and goodbye.